now we're back at 8.45 with a family coping with a life and death health crisis facing all five of their children. And as NBC's Keith Morrison explains, they're doing it with remarkable strength and an incredible attitude. Keith, good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Uh, life was just about perfect for this family. The Bingham family, good careers, beautiful home, happy kids. And then one of them gets a tummy ache, a trip to the doctor, and it changed everything. A group hug. <laughs> what is happening to the Bingham family, Jason and Stacy and their five children, is an intensely personal and terrifying odyssey. In 2006, the Bingham's eldest daughter, Sierra, was diagnosed with heart failure six at the time. Sierra had a heart transplant and survived. Just in case, her parents had the entire family tested for heart disease, and all the rest of them were given a clean bill of health. They all came out normal, so we thought, good, to roll that out, that's not an issue then. But then, last summer, eight-year-old Lindsay got a tummy ache, and the Bingham's world fell apart. Her parents learned she, too, needed a heart transplant. She was life-flighted to the hospital and put on a mechanical heart pump to wait for an organ donor. We were sat down and told that of our five children, that all of them either had cardiomyopathy or had flaggers or symptoms that they watch that can turn into a cardiomyopathy. Their doctors were astonished too. Now all the Bingham children, every single one, will be confronted with the distinct possibility of one day requiring a heart transplant because of a deadly condition called dilated cardiomyopathy. The family waited for a heart for Lindsay. Christmas came and went. Bring it back up so that Lindsay sits right at the top. And then, after nearly eight months of waiting, the family learned a match, a donor heart, had been found. Guess what? I have it! Do I have a heart? You have a heart! You do! With her baby blanket transformed into a superhero cape, she is ready to face the scariest event of her young life. Love you, Lindsay Lou. Love you, Lindsay. Lindsay got her new heart on Valentine's Day. Everything went very, very smoothly. But Lindsay's transplant is just the beginning. Both she and Sierra face a lifetime of expensive medication and constant testing. Her brother Gage, who's just four, already has a pacemaker and most likely he'll need a transplant too. But for the moment, the Bingham family is celebrating what they have. We've walked away twice now with two children still alive. And that's more than some parents can say that have to leave here. And we can go home with five children. This was a family that decided to let us in intimately to witness everything they went through. The uncertainty, the terror, the triumph. And most amazing, in the midst of all that trouble... The happiness, the gratitude, it wasn't just the Binghams who were changed by what happened, guys. It was kind of all of us. Mm -hmm. And we, we can them. see why. Yeah. Keith, it's an amazing story. And by the way, you can see more of Keith's story on the Binghams tonight on Dateline. That's 8, 7 central time. And of course, it's right here on NBC.